little YouTube. Real shooting here out at the neighborhood pond again. This time I'm at the back half of the pond. I normally start at the front half. But I really like this area here because it's very deep. There's not a lot of grass in the bottom as you can see. Hopefully that shows up on camera. It's like a muddy bottom. There's the fountain. A lot of fish like to hang out right here. And off to the side in this deeper area for sure. And with the weather how it's been lately, it's been pretty cold. But today it's about 60 degrees. So I think that the fish should be deeper. I'm going to try throwing some crankbaits and maybe some Texas rig lures. Try a couple of different things. Hopefully we can figure out the bite. Right now I have tied on a lipless. This is a brand new one I just got. Uh, Academy H2O Express brand. 3 8 ounce. It's like a chrome and blue lipless. Excited to try it out. And I got my Texas rig over here. I have a hogwalla tied on. But I could switch that out for a different lure. Let's just see what they want to bite. You guys stay tuned. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Something had it, you guys. No way. There we go. There we go. No. Came right out of him. That is crazy. He followed it up. Man. Just keep on. There we go. There we go. We got one. I'm hoping he stays pinned. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Finally. Tough fishing out here, man. Tough. We'll figure it out. They want the jerk bait. Let's see if I can get this hook out of him. Swipe at it. There we go. Nice, bass number one. Very little one. Oh, let's let him back in. There he goes. So we know now they want the jerk bait. Let's see if we can get bass number two on a jerk bait. I might just stay fishing the jerk bait because that's the only thing I got to bite on so far. So I don't think I'm going to switch after this. I mean, that fish, we had one hit it, chase it up and hit it. And then we were able to catch one around the same area. Let's see if we can get one from over here. Come on, bass. And that bass chased it up. He wanted that jerk bait. There we go. Oh, and it came off. You gotta be kidding me. See, we're still following it. Come on, bass, come on. He just straightened out my line. Did not get hooked. Man, that is exciting. Now, this rod is not made for jerk baits, but I mean, it says here, medium, heavy, fast action. Sankos, flukes, spooks, spinner baits, and horny toads. Now I feel like because of its bend, it's really given that jerkbait a lot of action. 
but I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have a good enough backbone or something to where when they do bite it, they're gonna get hooked. I feel like that's one thing. It's not really hooking them as good as when I fish jerk baits on the other rod. But I definitely feel like with this rod, I'm giving it better action. If I had a dedicated jerkbait rod, I'm sure it'd be the best of both worlds. Good action, good hook sets. But I'm definitely getting that good action right now. Come on, bass. I felt that hit. Some bass wanted it. There we go. There we go. We got something. Oh yeah, nice little bass. Yes! <laughs> I knew they were hitting it. He got hooked on the back treble. Flip him on over. Oh, this bass has seen better days. I don't know what's going on with his gill there. Oh man, bass. He has something growing on the bottom of him. We just unhooked him. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's one of his gills. He's been hooked before. Oh, yeah. We're letting you go. Bass number two. There we go. There we go. We got one. Oh, and he came off. Man, it was right here. Wow. And I've noticed that before, too, when fishing a lipless crankbait on this rod, it is not made for it. You will miss those bass. I just now missed another bass. I think that might have been the third one. That's the third one I missed today. So I've had five bites, three misses and two fish that I was able to land. If they barely nip at it, they're not getting hooked as good as they should be. And that one was right here, right to my right. We would have had that one. Come on bass, come on. We just need a solid bite. There we go. We got another one. That's a little one. Oh, let's flip them. Nice. See, that one bit it pretty good. <laughs> so that's fish number three. Oh, man. That's a very little bass. But they are hitting it. Bass number three on the jerk bait. Let's throw him back in. There he goes. There we go. That bass followed it up. He hit it quick. Bass number four. Relax yourself, relax yourself. Don't hook me. <laughs> he only got one trouble in him. Pop that right out of you. They're all little ones, but we'll take them. Let's put him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Overall, it was kind of a tough day of fishing. But at the end, we figured out they did want this jerk bait. That's the Reaction Strike XRM80. I believe it's a suspending jerk bait. I can't remember. But I do know that color's baby bass. 
nice little jerk bait got us four fish today it was pretty tough out here we missed three other ones but i do believe it's because of the rod it has a lot of bend but because of that we were able to get good action again that's a medium heavy fast action rod seven foot three dobbins fury series mainly use this for my texas rigs but i decided to tie on a jerk bait and what do you know that's what the bass wanted anyways today's video is going to be a short one but i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe